So a lot of USA L1 visa interviews are lined up in the next couple of months. And in this video, we're going to talk about the recent trends and the questions which are being asked currently in India. Also, we're going to show you some real interview experiences and some tips on how you can build your credit history in the US. Keep on watching. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and I'm a travel and a visa coach. On this channel, you will find lots of useful videos on the US visa process. We have an entire playlist for N1 visa, so make sure to check it out. We also have some free resources. There is a document checklist and a question bank, which is going to help you in your preparation. So once you're done watching this video, check out the description box and get your free downloads. So we've been keeping a really close watch at the L1 visa interviews, which have happened in 2023. And analyzing the data and analyzing the questions which are being asked in the interview, there are three trends that we observe. And you need to keep these trends in mind when you prepare for the interview. So let's jump into it. So the first trend we have observed is increased focus towards the role in US. L1 interviews would typically start with some questions about the current or the India role and then progress towards the role in US. But the recent trends and the interviews which are happening in 2023 we see that the focus is completely on the role in US and there are many interviews in which no questions are being asked about the India role. In fact, the visa officer starts the interview directly by asking about the role in US. The typical questions asked here are, why is your company sending you all N1A or N1B, which is another way of asking what's your role in US? Why you for this role? Why not someone else or why not someone from the US office? And what will be your salary or your income in the US? Now, here's a pro tip for you to handle this situation. If the interview starts directly with the role in US, before you proceed to explain and give details of that to the visa officer, include a one-line context or a one-line introduction about your role in India. If it's an L1B interview, this one-line introduction could highlight your key expertise, your specialized knowledge, any proprietary tool or platform that you have worked on. And if you're going for N1A, then this one-line introduction could highlight your key managerial responsibility and the team size that you handle. Now, why is this important? This one-line introduction will really help the visa officer to get a better depth and a better understanding about your role in US. Without understanding about the India role, it might be difficult to comprehend the importance of the US role. And this one-line introduction would set things in place. Additionally, you also need to take care of your DS-164. Because nothing is being asked about the India role in the interview, the DS-160 form is the only place where you could highlight the role that you're playing currently. So the briefly describe your duties box is going to be really important and take time to structure it well. Now, don't make it too short, two to three lines where it's difficult to understand or get any idea about your current role. Also, don't make it too long because the DS-160 form doesn't allow for any formatting. So anything which is too lengthy becomes difficult to read. Aim at getting in eight to 10 lines, wherein again for L1B, the first few lines should highlight your expertise, your skill set, any proprietary work. And for L1A, the first few lines itself should highlight the key managerial responsibility and the team size that you handle. The second trend we have observed is increased focus on location of work. So the L1 interviews in 2023 had a lot of questions asked about location of work and location of stay. These officers were asking a lot of questions about where the company is located where you will stay, where you will work, and will you go to office. And the sense we are getting from all of this is that remote work is not really being encouraged and the visa officers really want to see whether your work will involve being in the same location and will involve actually going to office. Now, in L1, you could either work at client location or at company location, both are fine, but just make sure that where you stay and where you're planning to live falls in the same vicinity or in the same area as your company. The typical location being asked in this trend are, where is your company located? Will you be working at the client location or company location? Where are you going to stay? And will you go to office? How many days of week are you planning to go to office? Speaking of location, here's a pro tip. Along with planning for the visa interview, many of you might already be thinking about your transition and your move to the US. And I want to share with you a product which will make a part of this transition simple and hassle-free. This product is called Nova Credit. Now, one of the first things you will need when you reach the US is a credit card. And you're going to use it everywhere. You're going to use it to pay bills, to buy products, to buy things for your new home and your new life. 
And what's really going to matter is your credit history and the score which takes time to build. What if I told you that there was an easy way to do this? What if I told you that you could use your Indian credit history which you have built up over all the years of working here in India and transfer that to the US? Nova Credit does exactly this. So it takes your Indian credit history and develops a US equivalent score which will help you get an amazing credit card right from day one in the US. And this is an Amex card and it has a lot of benefits. And these benefits are no annual fee or deposit required, attractive cash bags, a high credit card limit, and benefits on travel and gas spend, plus a really secure fraud detection system. Not only a credit card, Nova Credit can also help you get a good mobile phone and a plan. They have a partnership with Verizon for this, and this plan will be at 0% interest and 36 month EMI. So literally the two basic requirements, a credit card and a phone plan is going to be taken care of by Nova Credit. Now, how to apply and get this? It's really simple. They have a very simple application process wherein you need to fill in a few details and submit and they will get back to you. The link for this is in the description box below. So once you're done watching the video, make sure to check out this link and start your application with Nova Credit. I would highly recommend it and I'm pretty sure that this is going to help you make the transition to US a notch easier. The third trend is the key question. So there is one question which is being asked in almost every L1 interview. For L1A, it is how many years of managerial experience you've had and what's the average team size you've handled. And for L1B, it is what is your area of expertise. And here's a pro tip to tackle this. When you are answering this question, remember, it's not about going into details of your roles and responsibility because the actual roles and responsibility can sound routine and generic. What is really required here is to bring in the highlights of your entire career. When you're talking about your expertise or your managerial experience, you need not be limited to just the current organization. So let's say that your expertise is domain oriented and you had this skill set, this experience, even from your past employer or past company, you could bring in and highlight that as well. This question is really about putting together all the highlights, all the positives of your profile and presenting that to the visa officer and not really going into the actual roles, responsibilities and the details of the execution. So. Put together a summary or highlight of your profile. For L1B, it will be the key skill set, the specialized knowledge that you've acquired, which can be in the company or in the past companies also. And for L1A, it will be the total managerial experience and all the type of projects and the average team size you've handled. Again, not restricted to just your present employer. So I hope that these interview trends and questions that we have discussed have helped you. Comment below and let me know which visa category you're going for, whether it's L1A or L1B. So put a comment down below and let me know. Also, for a more detailed prep, you can reach out to me. We can do a one-to-one -one session to help you in the interview preparation. And we can also do a mock to give you an idea of the real interview. Details of all of these preparation plans is right here in the description box. Make sure to check it out. Now, the next part of the video, we're going to share some real interview experiences with you. These are the recent interviews and also some interview tips by one of our clients. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video. Alright, hope you really enjoyed the next part of this video and I will see you again in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.
have some questions at the petition stage. So, okay, okay. how much effort did it require on your part in the petition stage, or was it all taken care by the law firm that was engaged? No, it was taken care by the law firm and my company because I have a, a you know team working as a GMS Global Mobility System team uh, who take care of all this process. But I was proactive on this because from the last two years I was working on my H1B and it was not happening. There was some documentation issue or something was happening because of which I was getting RFEs which were not getting approved. So this time I thought I must not take any chance and uh, I proactively reviewed and screened all the documents that we are sharing with the attorney. So what is your learning from this entire journey of a very long journey I would say of H, H1 and then L1 and then administrative processing? Yes, yes. We have to be proactive. Uh, throughout this journey. I mean, uh, if we see if a company, if an organization, your employer is taking care of all your visa process, but still uh, everyone have to, you know, proactive review all the documents. Coming to the actual interview, the main day. Yes. So let's yes. start, what did you wear? First of all, my consulate was in New Delhi. So at that time, you also suggested that uh, suit will be not, you know, uh, that will be not uh, too much to carry uh, for L1A. And so I was confident that if you have suggested let's go with the suit the attire was formal suit okay correct so i was the only person there uh, in suit but still uh, i was okay about it <laughs> <laughs> well the other l1 were not wearing a suit uh, i was not sure whether other were in the queue were for l1a or not i didn't get a chance to interact much because uh, i didn't have to wait much uh, as soon as i entered and uh, things got you know processing the second thing that that need to be done is to you know connect with you have a counseling with you because see uh, seriously i knew the answers i i was because i prepared everything the questions because questions are available on the internet right i was aware of the questions that i will be asked but the formatting and the designing that you did that be that gave me a lot of confidence right that uh, whatever she will ask i have everything the only thing is i have to be calm like i did uh, in the first question i was telling everything i was telling everything so this i need i wanted to control my words and have to become uh, that was the thing that was required at that time thank you so much for watching if you have any more questions feel free to leave them in the comment section you can also dm me on instagram my instagram handle is at chachi.1 and we have more useful content coming up in the l1 series so make sure to subscribe and stick around